Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is a nice, easy, everyday makeup. So I wanted to bring you this clown. Um, I figured with all the clowns in the news and stuff recently, everyone's gonna wanna go as a clown this Halloween. And I took inspiration for the triangles and stuff under my eye from I Love Sarahi or something on YouTube. Um, she did this for gangster clown makeup and I also did the neck with like fake blood and liquid latex to make it look like my neck piece is sort of coming off. There's not really much else to say except from thank you so much for watching and if you want to see how to get this clown look, then just stay tuned. So jumping right in, I'm going to use Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to use that on a Sigma E40 as a transition shade just so all the other shades blend easier. And then I'm going to take Cocoa Bear on a 217 and use that to darken up the crease. I'm going to make it into a halo shape and leave the middle of my eye bare. And then I'm going to take the Red Ochre from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and just go right over those places that I put Cocoa Bear just to make it a bit warmer and intensify it a bit. And just take any clean blending brush and blend those edges. I'm next going to go in with Americano by Makeup Geek and I'm going to take that first on a slanted angle brush and really sketch out the hollows of my eye and where I want this to be. I'm going to try and make this a really intense halo eye so I'm just using that first. And then I swapped over to a clean pencil brush just to try and blend those out so it wasn't too harsh. And then just took a shader brush with some Americano on it and further just blended that out with so it wasn't so harsh. Then I went in with a 217 with no additional product and just sort of blended out those edges as well just to soften it a little bit. I wanted to keep that inner corner nice and bright so I just took NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I blended that out with my finger. Rather than using a colour I just wanted to use white so I then just blended those edges with the 217 with no product. And then I went in with MAC Mylar Eyeshadow which is just a white and a shader brush and packed that right in the centre. Not worrying about blending it out or anything just in the one spot blending it into there. And then I took the 217 and just went over those edges again. I then decided to take some Americano on a smudger brush and just take that along the lash line and blend it into the outer corners to smoke it out a little bit and make it a bit more dramatic. These are Eldora H167 eyelashes. And then before I put my eyelashes on I wanted to make the outer corner and inner corner a bit darker so I just mixed a black and a brown eyeshadow. And then I went in with black eyeliner on my waterline and my upper lash line um, just to smoke it out a little bit. Then I smoked out my lower lash line with the same shadows I used on the top but it ended up being a bit pointless after I did the points underneath my eyes. It ended up covering it up anyway so you don't have to do that. So next I just took Anastasia Cream Colour in Jet but I mixed in a bit of oil to make it a bit easier to work with but I wouldn't recommend doing that because it just creased really easily. So I just sort of drew out how long I wanted the points to be and then I just connected the lines to that. Uh, you can see here I moved my head rather than moving the brush because I found it was a bit easier to get like a straight line but that doesn't really matter because you're going to smoke it out anyway. So here I'm just filling it in with the same cream colour. I'm just taking concealer on an angled brush just to clean up those points so that they were nice and sharp. I didn't really mind it being too messy because I was going to smoke it out anyway and it kind of added to the creepiness of the look. I just set that, those um, black points with some black eyeshadow because of the oil it was starting to smudge and I didn't really like that, I thought it would be easier to blend a shadow. So here I'm just taking the exact same shadows I used on my eyes, Coco Bear first, and just blending that sort of like a transition, the same that you would as a smoky eye, how you would blend out eyeliner underneath your eye, I was just in the same with that. So this is me going in with red ochre and just blending over those edges. The next step I go in with Americano on a little smudger brush and that made it really easy because I just sort of blended out the line of the black and it made it a bit smokier already and then I just went back in with that shader brush and blended it out when it was really easy to do. So like you would on your eyes I just went in with a clean blending brush to blend out those edges so that there was no harsh lines. Then I went in with a white eyeshadow on a shader brush just to clean up those points and make them extra sharp. Then I went in with the Kat Von D's tattoo liner and made these little circles at the bottom of the points but I thought they were a little bit too close together so I went in with concealer to clean that up. Then that is the points under your eyes complete. It's so easy to do but it looks so, so good. And I literally just did the exact same thing but just on top of my eyebrow.
So once you're finished with that, it's time to move on to lips. And these look so, so cool, but they're easy to do. So I just took an angled brush with the same black eyeliner that I used and just lined my lips. And I really focused on making the cupid's bow really defined and really sharp to add to sort of the edginess and creepiness of the look. So the corners of the mouth sort of help to complete the look, but they're actually easy to do and they look so effective. So I just followed the edge of my lips and just flicked it out, sort of like you would when you're doing your eyeliner. And just the same as a winged liner as well, I just joined the bottom lip up to the corner of the mouth, just like you would when you join up your lower lash line to the outside of the wing. Then I just didn't put any extra product on but just blended that eyeliner down into the middle. Then I took a dark red lipstick and blended that in the middle of my lips and sort of rubbed my lips together to start to blend it. But then I just took some more black and used my finger just to blend those together. It doesn't really matter if it's not properly blended because it adds to the creepiness. So moving on to the neck piece, I just took the jumbo eyeliner again from NYX and I just sort of drew it out in white just to know where I wanted to go. And then I took um, water activated face paints from Snazaroo and I just used the white one first to fill in the white because I thought it'd be easier to fill black over white than to try and do the white after the black. If I had made any mistakes it would just turn into a horrible grey colour. I just went in with the white first and did a couple coats of that and just filled in those sections. This is the face paint I used. I just went in with a black and a smaller brush to sort of, so I could be more precise, but I wanted this to be a messy, creepy look anyway, so I wasn't too bothered if it had gotten um, mixed up with the white. So I just filled that in and also did a couple coats. And then after that, here as you can see me just sort of filling it in a bit further, because I wanted to make it really, really dark and really stand out, because it's sort of like a centerpiece of the look. After that, it's my first time using liquid latex. I used the brush that it came with in the little package, but I didn't like it. So after that, I just went in with a cosmetics wedge and just dipped that right into the liquid latex and stamped that on because I thought it kind of made it a bit messier and look more like it actually would if your skin was peeling off rather than it being a straight line and it wouldn't be like that normally. So here my chest looks really red, but it's because I had the hair dryer on me. <laughs> but I just started to lift up the edges of that liquid latex to make it look like that neck piece was sort of like coming off and a bit like fusty or <laughs> sort of like it was melting away. Then I went in with some Ben Nye Dark Blood and just used another cosmetics wedge and just stamped that underneath the flap of skin. And then after that I decided that I wanted to be a bit messier and I just went absolutely nuts with the blood. <laughs> so I started stamping it on top of the neck piece and then after that I thought no need more so I just actually started pouring it out of the bottle onto myself and it sort of looked cooler because it created these nice drips and really wherever I got a drip and I didn't want it I would just wipe the excess blood on my chest just to make it look like it was all over me and it was and I started to put it underneath my chin and let it drip down the neck piece and literally ended up just putting it all over the place. Obviously you don't need to go this nuts with the blood but I wanted to look like one of those creepy killer clowns and I put some on my lip as well, on my chin and all over my hands and stuff. This just added to the look and I loved the way it looked. So guys that is the finished tutorial. I hope you liked this and if you recreate it let me know. And thank you so much for watching and happy Halloween!